<laughs> Hello, happy Saturday. This is probably what day four of this. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so I just want to address one thing. Uh, the first thing that I noticed this morning um, was my little vlog getting, I think, a thousand views. The last vlog I did, which is mind blowing. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because there are people like saying a lot of things about it like oh you're uh ignorant uh this uh but also things saying that this is good this keeps me safe things like that yada yada i just want to note that people are making fun of the situation uh at this point uh with world war three memes and shit do i think something's gonna happen i don't know i just believe that with the situation and the circumstances i don't think something's gonna happen if it does it does you know nothing we can do all right at this point uh war sucks but do you honestly believe america's gonna lose someone brought up a good point we have one of the best militaries in the world mind you we're i <laughs> i mean, that's all i can really tell you about that apparently we got so much like firepower we can like fill a small country or something like that i have no idea but <laughs> if someone something like that but you know i'm not really too worried about it anymore uh i was kind of worried it was kind of not really good when I was working la uh, this last yesterday, yeah, so it was just nice, you know, seeing people kind of making light of the situation. And you know what? If it happens, it happens. Nothing we can do. Um, but I think, but overall, I think it's going to happen. I think people are blowing it way out of proportion because people are forgetting that this guy was a dick. All right. No matter how you look at it, the guy was a dick. And yeah. Uh, today was a very interesting day. I spent most of it just kind of shiny hunting in Sword and Shield. Um, I think I was going to review, wasn't I, today? Something like that? Uh, short and sweet, it's a great 3DS game. That's all I can really say about it. I know it sounds kind of harsh to say, but it's not the Pokemon Switch game we were kind of hoping for, if you know what I mean. Uh, the graphics would be great if they were, like, on a 3DS. And the thing is, is that people say, oh, you shouldn't compare it to other Switch games. Why not? Unless it has its own style, which I totally understand. But Pokemon in this game, so let's admit some of the things do look really nice. Uh, Balloonlia Town, or Balloonlia, I don't think it's even called Town, it's Balloonlia. Well, the mushrooms and shit, that's really cool. Um, but other towns and little textures and stuff seem kind of flat. In fact, the Pokemon models that I saw um, in this game aren't great. They're a little bit more colorful than ultras and ultra moon but not much um the one thing i loved about let's go pikachu even though i shit on it almost a year i think over a year ago at this point um the one thing i loved about the game was that it had a really unique style of being very colorful and i loved the shit out of that um where every color color popped this game doesn't have i mean it does have colors pop but other times it just looks kind of weird and i don't know in all honesty, people, like, say, oh, you shouldn't compare it to other games. I think you can definitely compare. Like, you see games like Breath of the Wild, and, you know, that's always a good comparison. But how about a game that's not a Nintendo game? A Square Enix, I think, game? Right? Is Dragon Quest Eleven? I, I don't know. I have the game somewhere over there, but I don't feel like getting up. But, um, yeah, Dragon Quest Eleven. that's a great example of a game with a very colorful style, I guess. But Sword and Shield, all the stuff they say about animations and battle balance doesn't really seem correctly. Animations could be better. There are pretty good animations for this game, and it looked nice. But then there's other animations where, you know, the joking about the double kick animation, the thing where I think one of the dogs like this, and they, like, turn and, like, doing, like, a Michael Jackson moonwalk thing. <laughs> um, that's not very good. Um... Then they talk about battle balance. Uh, I don't think it's really justified at all, though I don't mind it too much. Uh, what I try and do is when I play those Pokemon games, I don't set like a specific like team. In fact, Ultra Dust and Ultra Moon, I had like every single Pokemon like sort of battle and competitive ready. What I did was I kind of like would use a random number generator, just put all these Pokemon together and kind of make some sort of combo from it. So I never took competitive like play seriously. 
but seeing how competitive it was, I feel like it was most of the same Pokemon here and there. And the one thing I fucking hate with, um, oh, sorry, my eyes are closed. I feel like I need to sneeze. The one thing I hate was that new battle mechanic they added was, which is called Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. First of all, it's not that great. Uh, I feel like if this was Megas for Gigantamax Worms instead, fine. Uh, I think that would have been cool. But was it really justified to take away more than half the decks for it? It's not, really. Because they're not, they don't become super powerful. That's the thing. Like, in when I was playing through the game, through the little walkthrough, I one shot at a fucking Gigantamax Pokemon when I didn't even fucking Dynamax, which is hilarious. And it was just funny that this giant thing has stolen an animation. I use one rock move, explodes. And I'm like, oh, that's not very good. And, and apparent, but apparently it's actually really good. Um, apparently too good to the point where Smoke and Bandit, the only real battle mechanic, uh, in this game, I think. Um, so that kind of says a lot. Um, how Megas weren't even banned. <laughs> Zemus weren't banned. Dynamaxing, I guess that's too much. Though I gotta admit, some of the Gigantamax ones look cool, except, though they could have been, um, could have been more Megas. Like, for example, my favorite's Grimmsnarl. I don't even have one yet. I do have a Grimson. I don't have a Gigantamax one, though, because I don't have the time to find one or farm for one. Um, but, yeah, I just think this game is okay. I feel like, if anything, it probably has the easiest way to get a competitive Pokemon going. In fact, I actually made one. It's, I think I mentioned it yesterday, I actually shiny hunted uh, a, about a week. I wouldn't say a full week, because most of that time I was working or I was... Um, with friends or holidays, things going on, shit like that. So it wasn't a full, um, like, day, like, full week. It was more of, like, maybe half a week at most. I'm not too sure. Uh, and I found it. And I ended up making a competitive shiny Tyranitar named Jimmy Jam. <laughs> um, it knows Stealth Rock, Flamethrower, Crunch, and Earthquake. The weirdest moveset. <laughs> But it works. That's actually pretty good. Um, and what else I did uh, today? But yeah, but back to the Pokemon game. Before we go any further, it's okay. It's not like the most revolutionary game. It could be better. Uh, moving on from that, what else did I do today? Um, I exercised a little bit. I went on the cardio bike, and then I took a shower. And then I went out for a little bit. I actually got a new coat. Um, I don't have it with me right now. It's in the closet over there. I got a brown leather jacket. Yeah, I never found it. Um, it was it was actually really nice. I messaged a few people asking, hey, what do you think? A lot of people said you should get it. I did. And I got like 20% off of it, so that's pretty good. <laughs> because I traded my old jacket that was busted. And yeah, that's not good. And then I went to Barnes Noble, um, and I got two books. I got a, a Python for Dummies, like a 7-in-1 kind of book. Uh, along with a C++ book where every day you can look at the um, code. Well, you can look at the book and just kind of learn it from there. Because I think I mentioned that I want to make a Pokemon battle system uh, for this. But I, I'm i not going to use Java because you might not know this. Um, Java doesn't really use a lot of um, extending stuff. You can't use multiple things. You only use one inheritance. With C++ and Java, you can use as many as you want, which is great. I, think, I don't know if it's as many as you want. I think it's probably a limit. I just don't know. Mind you, i never really done C++ or Java. I have seen, looked at C a little bit, though, um, for that Fire Red engine I mentioned a long-ass time ago. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's about it for today. Um, now I'm probably going to just shiny hunt more. I really want to find that freaking uh, shiny honage. It's funny, I think that's one of my favorite shinies. I never have one, though. Uh, I think I had the shiny hunting more back in Gen 7. And it wasn't, like, Gen 7 time. It was more of, I started shiny hunting in June of last year. Now, last year, 2019, summer 2019. For a whole month, I got a bunch of legendaries. In fact, I think I posted it on my uh, Facebook page where I got 
main ones I really want are like Moltres, uh, Regigigas, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Tornadus, Vika Volt, not Vika Volt, <laughs> Zerka Tree. But, and then also Shiny Hooded some SOS encounters. I got a Beldum, and I got a Meta, that was a Metagross. I got a Carvana to make up for the one I actually knocked out when I was a three, when I was in fucking elementary school and I got really upset. Metagarp, because I like Shiny Gyarados. Uh, Zorua, because why the fuck not? Caterpie, because there's actually a funny story with that. Let's go Pikachu actually shiny hunted for shiny Mewtwo. Uh, and I made a joke saying, oh, what's one I'm going to find first, the Caterpie or the Mewtwo? I found the Caterpie before the Mewtwo. I'm like, all right. And I caught it. So that was fun. Um, speaking of that, I should get into Let's Go too, see how I feel about that game. Because I did shit on it. But would I play that over Sword and Shield? Probably not. Um, it was fun until Sword and Shield came out. Because there's more stuff to do, I guess. I, I actually, you know what? Sword and Shield doesn't have much. Not gonna lie. I was gonna say it's on par with X and Y's in terms of the post game, where there's not much post game. But you know, wait until Ultra Sword 2 and Ultra Shield 3 come out. <laughs> Ultra Shield 2, sorry, my bad. I think that's gonna be it for today. Um I sn I sniffle a lot. Uh I think right now, like I said, I'm just gonna shiny hunt more. And uh yeah, and then have dinner and then watch a movie. While shining hunting, if I'm still shining hunting, great. If not, I'm probably going to just take a break and watch a movie, you know, eat snacks or something. All right. I hope everyone had a good Saturday. Uh, should I put my link to my Facebook stuff? Because this isn't really something that I would monetize. My sister said I should. I don't really want to, but I know why not. But I don't know if I'm going to get monetized at all because I curse a lot. And apparently YouTube's, are be YouTube's a bunch of uh, cucks and they don't like cursing. Um... Even though it's just, you know, free speech, but, you know, apparently no one knows what free speech is anymore. Uh, be sure to like this if you found any of this interesting. You probably didn't, but, you know, it's whatever. Be sure to comment, uh, ooh, comment on what you did this past Saturday. That's fine, because I don't know what your time zone is, or right, whatever. Because, you know, anyone in the world could probably find this. I don't really know. I don't really care. Uh, and just subscribe for more. Um, I'm really hoping to try and do more other thing, uh, do other things as well. Not too sure. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Until next time, my crew, I will see you later.